Hey, hi everyone. Uh, this is Bakka Pachin Jirkar. Welcome back to Test Automation Tools Selenium. In this video tutorial, we'll discuss TestNG framework annotations for Selenium automation testing or Selenium WebDriver. Let us jump to the high level agenda for the today's video tutorial. First, first we'll discuss what is TestNG. Next, we'll discuss what are the benefits of using TestNG framework. Next, we'll discuss how to install TestNG framework. And the final point is different types of TestNG annotations we'll be using for the writing or test scripts. First, I'll discuss how to install TestNG framework. This one I have already covered in the previous video sessions. Just go to the YouTube and here you type in the search box my name Bakappa and just to type install testng video press enter and you will be seeing very first video this video guides you the how to install testng framework and as well as selenium firebug and the firepath <coughs> that's all for the installation side <coughs> sorry uh, we'll discuss uh, what is TestNG now and we'll discuss benefits after that and we'll discuss different types of TestNG annotation we'll be using for the creating the test scripts. First, we'll begin with what is this TestNG is. TestNG is a open source automation testing framework where NG stands for next generation. TestNG is similar to the JUnit J framework. TestNG eliminates most of the limitations of the older framework and it allows you to write more flexible and powerful test with the help of using the annotations and you can group the tests and you can sequence the test methods and you can parameterize the Sorry, you can parameterize the test methods. We will discuss what are the benefits of using TestNG framework. Ability, sorry, ability to, sorry, ability to produce the HTML reports. This means TestNG framework that generates you the HTML reports and emailable reports. Just uh, go to the YouTube. I have shown you how to generate TestNG framework reports. When you just here, you can just uh, type backup n or else you can just do the same. You can go ahead. We'll be seeing very first link, right? So just click on that link. And here you will be seeing how to write a script in Selenium WebDriver. That is the very first video for the Selenium automation testing where I have covered how to generate the HTML reports and email email label reports from the TestNG framework. And the next point is annotations made test life easy. By using the annotations of the TestNG framework, you can create your test scripts very easily. Quickly you can create the test your tests by using the annotations. The third benefit of using TestNG framework is test script can be grouped. You can group the some uh, let us say for example you have 50 test cases sorry test scripts and you can if you want to execute only 20 of them means you can just group the test case and you can execute the test scripts. Fourth benefit of using this test ng framework is test can be prioritized more easily. So you can suppose say for example you have 50 test case uh, 50 test scripts. If you want to execute first test case as a 50th test case test script that time you can just set the priority for the 50th test case as a priority 0 
So always priority starts with a zero. If you mention zero, that will be your first test script will be executing. If you mention one, that will be your second test script from the test suite. And the fifth benefit is parallel testing is possible. That name itself indicates the parallel testing. So you can uh, execute the multiple tests at the same time. And the last point is data parameterization is possible by using the annotation data provider or else you can use the parameter tag in the XML file. You can just parameter parameterization is possible by using the XML file or the annotation from the TestNG framework. That is it for the benefits of using the TestNG framework. Let us jump to the TestNG annotations. First we will discuss annotation test with the different parameters and the second one is before method and the after method. We will discuss the third method is annotation before class, annotation after class. Fourth one is annotation before test and annotation after test. Fifth one is annotation before group and the annotation after group. And the last one is and one more is one more one is there. One more one is there. Sorry. Sorry, before suit or an after suit. And one more, the last one is at the rate, so annotation data provider. These all the test annotation will be discussed in the upcoming Selenium driver tutorials. In this video, in this video tutorial, we will discuss only annotation test with few parameters. Let us uh, jump to the Eclipse ID and we will uh, write uh, one sample program with the multiple annotation test methods and we will see on what order this all the test method will be executing whether it is a descending order or a ascending order. So let us jump to the Eclipse ID here. Just um, clicking on that package just, and just to press control N and enter here as a class. If you install TestNG, you will get this option. Just select that option and click on next button. Here, are, here you need to mention the class name. So here I am mentioning class name as annotations. That's all. Click on finish button. Here I have got a new class with the annotations. Just I have created. That's it. I'll rename this with the test one. What I will do is, I will write multiple tests and we will uh, see on what order this all the tests will be executing, whether it is ascending order or a descending order. Because it takes the time, so I will not perform any browser related activities, I will not launch any browser and I will enter the URL and I can perform the uh, any activities on the web element. You can try at your, <coughs> sorry, you can try at your end and you can, if you find any difficulties, let me know. So, just I'll do one sysout in the each of the test methods. So, in this test, I'll write one simple system.out.println statement. Just here I'm mentioning running under test1. Just will copy this test and I'll paste it another two times. So this I'll make modification here. Three 
and I'll make I'll make a simple changes to the test methods. Three. That's it. I have written three methods here. <coughs> After that, if you execute this program, it will execute one by one. First test one will be executed, and the test two will be executed, and test three will be executed. Let me show you the output of this uh, test suite. Go to the console here, and here we will be seeing the output. Running under test one, running under test two, and the running under test three. It is executing in an alphabetic order. I'll show you how how it is executing in an alphabetic order. Just I'll rename. Last test case with the A test one, and first test case with the B B test one. Sorry, A test three, and then first test case is B test one. First, it will execute the program. First, it will execute the test method called A test three, because always this test engine framework annotation annotations. Whatever the test you have mentioned, it will execute in a alphabetic order. So here it always A is A is the first, right? So first A test three will be executed, then it will go to the B test three, sorry B test one, and then it will execute test two method. So overall, what I can say is. By default, all the test will be executed based on alphabetic order. So, let me execute this program. Cancel it. Just save it and execute it. Here you can see the output here. Total test run is three here. There are no failures. That is zero, no skips as well as. And if you see the output here, test three is executed first because I have just just now only I have told test A test will be executed first because in alphabetically A test will be coming first, right? So it is executing A test three, then B test one, that is running under the test one. And after that, finally, it is executing the second method that is running under the test two. That's all I have in this video tutorial. We'll discuss in the upcoming video tutorials different parameters, how to pass to the test method, and different types of annotations will be discussed in the upcoming video video tutorials. Just we have uh, saw just saw the usage of at the rate test. You can define multiple test in the uh, in a single program. So in the upcoming video sessions, one by one, we'll discuss. If you have any queries, just you can drop me an email to b a k k a p p a c at the rate gmail dot com, or else you can send out an WhatsApp message to my number. Please do subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching